Uh, hello. Hi. It's Ms. Pie. Let's get into it. <laughs> Today, I am giving you a review of one of, listen, yeah? As in, you know, every sneakerhead has a wish list, okay? So the wish list will contain not just the holy grails, but maybe some drops you've missed, some drops that are old, and some really authentic, like old school trainers. One of the sneakers on this list is Prada America's Cup. This, I kid you not, has been on my wish list since year nine. They were the shiny ones, and if you're really like, if you're around the same age range as me, and I'm gonna say my age, but if you're around the same age range as me, you'll know that that shoe was popping back in the day. As time has gone on, they have produced new colorways, new styles, and this, listen, what I got, I, <laughs> Is not the original one that I want. I probably still want the original, but it's up there now that I've seen it. Now that I know the style, <laughs> I might need to get some more. <laughs> but let's get into it. This is gonna be an unboxing of my Prada America's Cup. Okay. Farfetch is basically a website that retails luxury and designer brand that may not be sold in the actual stores anymore. They have permanent collection and they have new seasons that come in as well. This is the box that came in. It is large. The box comes with the Farfetch branded tape, which has the F from their logo stamped all over it. It also comes with an Italy sticker right here. And I assume because Pradas are from Italy that that is why the sticker's there. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open it for you guys. Um, I'm not gonna show you the opening because it's a large box listen when it's time for me to move out I'm gonna get a big ass table so I can do unboxing properly you know want to set up the camera do birds eye view all that lovely jazz this is gonna be so hard to show you guys but this is how it opens up and then it's got like a little farfetch logo inside and We've got a box inside with bubble wrapping, I guess, around the whole thing. Some far-fetched papers, I assume it's gonna be like receipt and stuff. Oh, look at that. I love the sticker, honestly. Oh, it came directly from Milan. You see, that's interesting. I didn't know that, so that's why it has the Italy sticker. Now we know. Oh, it has a little Italy sticker too. This is so cute. And it says far fetch on it, adorable. Oh, so this is interesting. It came in the Farfetch packaging, but it's like come to me in the Prada bag. This is cute. Hey, Ribbon, come off my product. This is the box that is in the white bag that comes in the Farfetch box. Got the infamous Prada red strip. It is your basic box. It's just got the normal plain grey sides. We have the shoe information and details on the side. This is printed on a plastic film. This gives me longevity rather than just fading away over time. As I've also just noticed on the side, the plastic film can even be taken off. So that even gives it more of a luxury vibe because you don't need to have a whole room filled with sneaker boxes that have the white stickers on it. It can be a bit of a turn off um, in regards to how you might have prepared that whole room or how you might have decorated or designed that whole room. So this would be a nice box to get if you just want to keep boxes but you don't really want that white sticker or it might, you know, disrupt the flow or the feng shui. I don't know. I know you can just turn the box around like but still I'm, I'm just saying what I think, you know, like that's all. When I open it, this is what I get. Just some little Prada probably information pieces. This paper even feels expensive. Like I can't, I can't lie to you guys. This paper, can you even hear that? In fact, let me bring it closer for you guys. Hear that? That just said to me, no more insufficient fonts. It's um, actually got the Prada, it's got the Prada strip as well on the tissue, which I find really cool, that's nice. It's printed with this kind of like foil block. 
I don't know like this is like a nice smooth tissue paper like almost like a velvet type of feel but to tissue and then we've got like a foil block or a plastic block here for the Prada strip very very nice detail First thoughts on the design, this is what I wanted. Regardless of anyone probably saying, oh, they're not even that nice or blah, 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 don't care. Because I've wanted America's Cup since I was like, what, 14? Do you think your silly little opinion is gonna change whether I like them or not? It's not, it's not. The reason why I switched the America's Cup idea to this new season, high top version is because it just looked like it was giving me that height that I wanted and the America's Cups by themselves do look a little bit flat do look over time they might like really wear out and become a bit more like squat and I hadn't seen anyone actually rocking these funny enough which did it's not like I'm not those type of girls where it's like oh I need to be the only one that has it no 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 but I like having things that are clearly different that I didn't just have to follow a trend to find it I actually went looking and saw it myself come on I follow influencers myself I like looking at sneaker influencers especially females I like seeing what they copy feel me this has a very similar look and feel to the new balances that just came out the America's Cup that I originally wanted were leather so these parts that you see that are suede it was leather instead and it still had this mesh material I'm sure you can get them fully leather but that wasn't the vibe I was going for I I wanted to go for this suede type of look I have no regrets whatsoever it looks really really good especially in person the mesh is really good because I wanted to go for this gray and this gray comes off even a little bit shiny when the light hits it so I like that but it's not a shiny that is childish you know I talk about that a lot I say oh it's got a little bit of glitter here it's childish if it reflects in the light it's childish like but this one like depending on the way that I turn the shoe Okay, you just see the light reflect. Oh, just reflect off my shoe and project Prada on the wall. <laughs> That's what you should do because it's really a vibe. I like it. Of course, we have our Prada strip in the middle and also on the sole of the shoe. The pop of red really does make a difference to me because it's like, yes, you have the whole shoe this color. That pop of red is a statement. It's like, yeah, we're Prada. Just remember that, like, whoever duplicates this fine, but remember, or Prada. Whenever I see this strip, I know it's Prada straight away. I don't need to stare down at the shoe that hard. And if someone does a replica of it or imitates that design, my straight reference will be to Prada. It does have a white block of a sole in between. And then at the bottom, the immediate bottom, we have another gray. Um, the gray matches the grays that are found on the shoe as well. We've got the Prada strip down the middle in the front, on the sole, at the back of the foot, and inside the shoe where you put your foot inside. I really like the sizing on this and how it's presented. There's not one little plastic tag that's itching the side of your foot. No! Prada said no. We do luxury, okay. And there's a little like leather label like inside the tongue of the shoe detail. What? 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 Y'all didn't think of that. Mm -mm. Y'all said it's too expensive. That's what you said. That's what you said. Also, what I think is a really cute design is the little aglets. So oh, they're so cute. So they have Prada in this type of plastic printed letters <laughs> that's stuck onto the aglet. So it looks good, but my only con about these is that over time they're just gonna fall off, man. How many times do I have to wear them for you know the A to start drifting away or the P to just come off by accident because I scratched it somewhere? You know what I mean? In regards to Pradas, I asked my friend Bola what size she had gotten in her Pradas and she said that they run big. Hence why I thought, oh, what should I get? What should I go for? I tried to go to Bista first to see if they were there and if it was at a cheaper price or anything. And when I went, funny enough, I tried on a three, like a kid's three. Bear in mind, I'm a UK five. So I tried on a kid's three and listen, it fit like it actually fit like and i could walk around the only reason why i did not buy them is because it was the velcro strap listen no hate on whoever has that velcro strap 
but personally that is childish i could never offer. am i in pe in secondary school to be having velcro shoes maybe give me a bit of lace and a bit of velcro you know 50 50 mix and match you know half and half but full velcro is a no from me i can't lie that's for like kids you know so they don't have to trip over laces and they can do up their shoes properly anyway that's besides the point in Bista village they were about 250 in comparison to what i'm gonna say they were 250 so check it out if you want to try them on or see how your sizing would work when i got them i got a four and a half a bit wary because these are new season i don't know how they fit do they fit the same as the old america cups i don't know they don't have like this bouncy insole like let's say vapor max plus or vapor max 360 or just vapor max in general because that is a running shoe and you will need it for running these are not for running if you get what i mean but definitely something that i know i can wear all day type of shoe like i can wear this all day and be okay i'll be fine i would recommend getting at least a half size down i'm in between a four and a five so that's why i said let me drop back down to the 4.5 and see how it works out i could have even gone for a four they look really chunky on foot so similar to like balenciaga triple s they're gonna look mad on your foot to you anyway they're gonna look chunky but then to someone else i'm like bro your feet are small like are you like liar definitely something you have to get used to because it does give you that really chunky vibe straight away and does make you look at your foot and think my feet are huge they're not i promise you they're not they retail for 505 please i don't want to hear anything from you guys not a single thing because they're product please stop like stop it right now <laughs> okay i already told you if you do want a cheaper alternative new balance have dropped a whole new line of sneakers that do look similar to america's cup but as i've already said this has been on my wish list since i was in year nine okay it's not something that i just came out with today or last week and said i need content let me buy this shoe no i literally have wanted this shoe for so long and i'm glad i waited this long because now there are different styles and different colorways that have been introduced that i would have never seen prior so it's good you know it's good to wait sometimes it's good to have patience you know what i mean the websites that i have mentioned also do sales so i know that you're bound to find some pradas and some valentinos you know some some designer sneakers are on there and designer clothes flannels definitely do discounts quite a lot or sales quite a lot so definitely have a look there i think they do student discount as well so if you were student get your money get your coin go get your 10 percent off because that's the thing even if it is 10 percent off 10 percent off of a 500 pound shoe is still good that's 50 pound that's 50 quid off like you're paying for 50 i don't think that's a bad deal if you know what i mean or better yet like i've suggested go to bista check it out check out bista village um if you don't know what bista village is it's in oxford not oxford street actual oxford it's a whole outlet village they have so many stores of so many designers and everything there is literally discounted it could be stuff from old season it could be stuff that has just like didn't do well in sales now it's gone to the outlet village or outlet store um they're all genuine and authentic stores don't think you're going to get bumped like it's wembley market no it's legit so you're good there as well but obviously just go you know get one of your friends if one of your friends drive if you drive that's a great road trip to have with your gals you know with your mans definitely your mans because you know he could just open his purse <laughs> open your purse get me some products that's what you need to say to him open your purse <laughs> anyone that tries to knock my shoes bad vibes your bad vibes my childhood shoe that's what you want to mock my childhood shoe is what you want to mock no problem no problem, no problem. In this life, you can't win all the time. You know, you can't win. But in all honesty, in all honesty, leave your opinions down in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. Do you have a shoe just like mine that is your wish list shoe, your checklist shoe, you need to have shoe? If you do, let me know. Chat to me, talk to me. Please, 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 please. Do you, do you know how you get me more excited? Do you know how you make me smile more? If you make sure to like comment subscribe share all them things there let me emphasize like comment subscribe share <laughs> and all them things there and i will see you in my next video stay blessed stay sweet and stay safe <laughs>